Hey guys, so it's time to put the new iPhone 7 up against the Galaxy S7, see who is king at the end of 2016. Uh, we're having the Apple A10 processor versus the Exynos 8890, very high end, and we're going to see uh, which gives you the better performance. And we have updated both of them to the latest software, iOS 10 obviously with the iPhone 7. Uh, versus Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 with TouchWiz. And you can see iPhone 7 does boot on faster here, only just. So that uh, is a quite nice start here for the new phone. Uh, we have closed everything down in the background. I figured out how to, you know, use this new uh, home button here, which is like touch sensitive. So Gonna just open up some apps, see you know how it is day to day. Then we're going to uh, move on to more heavy stuff. So let's see. So so far, it looks like the S seven uh, is a little bit ahead here. Maybe that was quite similar. Uh, let's have a look. We got Tinder S7 again. So let's see uh, what do we have? We have we have this. Go. Cool. So the S7 is doing quite well here, much better than I actually anticipated. I think that was the iPhone for the camera. And let's try some of the inbuilt kind of apps that you do get, uh, such as S Health versus Health. Whoops. Let's try that again. Uh, let's try that again. So, about the same there, not a uh, huge difference. Similar with that one, and the App Store. That was the iPhone, uh, but I think the S7 did actually, you know, do very well there, particularly on the first couple of apps. So have a look at some of the games, which are a bit heavier. So I think uh, that was maybe the S7 there. I didn't really see it to be honest. Very different on both of them. That was definitely the S7. Wow, the S7 is leaving it standing. Uh, asphalt. Yeah, it got response. This one usually is quite quick on iOS, and as you can see, straight in there. So we give that to the iPhone. One more, GTA. So that could have been the S7. And let's just start them up. So this was very quick to load the actual game. So kind of uh, probably a bit mixed there for the games, uh, if you ask me. But I think the S7 overall did very well, given that you know the age of the phone. Let's have a look at uh, the raw synthetic here. I will fast forward, you know, through this. So go. And we'll be back in a moment. So we are back and you can see the scores really speak for themselves here. I mean, look at that on the iPhone. 
nearly twice as much for the single core, uh, a little bit more for the multi core, so very beastly uh, indeed. And maybe, you know, uh, because it's like iOS 10 is quite new, they're still going to be optimizing it to get the most performance. So I'll probably do another speed test in a month or so once you've done that. Uh, so just going to have a look here at the Wi-Fi speed as well, which is usually class leading on iPhones. So hopefully we'll get the same thing here. Uh, you can see the S7 never disappoints, giving me more than I'm paying for. Uh, I only pay for like 200 and somehow it manages to give me more. So very nice score here. Go on Apple, you can do it. I've got faith in you. Give the S7 a run for its money. Oh, oh no, no. Wow, so that's uh, a bit low if you ask me. I mean, given the iPhone standard. Uh, I will be doing some more speed tests obviously, so we will, you know, uh, check this out again. Could have been just like a one-off or something. In fact, we're just going to do it again here because that does seem to be, you know, uh, a bit lower than usual. I just want to make sure. No, you can see 150. Because usually you get like 200 with the iPhone 6S at least. Uh, so definitely going to look into that. You know, I don't uh, bit disappointed with that score. Because, uh, you know, we do like the fastest Wi-Fi here when it comes to you paying more, you know, you want to get more. Uh, so very well done there, S7. You know, it's really holding its own against Apple's latest phone. Uh, we're going to just open up a few websites here, see how they do the real world page rendering. Uh, WWE. So let's go. So a little bit faster here to uh, do the search, whoops, so that was annoying. The uh, screen kind of clicked it as I was searching through this. So I'm not going to click on the WWE website, I'm going to go to the Wikipedia page so it's fair. Uh, so let's go. So again this came up a little bit faster. If you ask me, uh, we're going to do another one. So we're going to do BBC, BBC News again. So you can see this is uh, coming back now the iPhone with Safari. Oh, a little bit faster this time though with the S7. I think the picture's loaded a little bit faster on the iPhone. Uh, one more just to, you know, do the decider here. Uh, so we're going to GameSpot. And go. Again, iPhone for the, the uh, search. Well, the S7 you can see is come back again when it comes to actually going into it. Uh, so it was clear cut at first, but now you know I think uh, you can see the S7's woken up, but it seems to load the video a little bit faster here on the left, maybe and stuff. There you can see. I like the way it kind of goes big as well, which is quite useful uh, so you know quite I'd say quite tentative there really not a clear victory that I was expecting we're going to round off with a multitasking test to see how the new iPhone 7 handles the stuff in the background so with the iPhone 7 you are only getting 2 gigs of RAM here uh, compared to I think 3 gigs in the iPhone 7 Plus so you can see a little bit of reloading here with these 
background apps. But same can be said with the S7. I have opened quite a few apps today. Uh, let's see. So they're both kind of reloading here, which, you know, usually I'm used to very smooth going back and forth into things. Camera. So a bit laggy there on the S7. Let's try the games. So it's kept in memory on both of them. That's good. And let's try uh, asphalt again kept it in memory in both of them so you can see the games management very good here you're not going to lose your progress and that uh, is what we like to see whoops that was the uh, wrong <laughs> app so you can see it's kept it in memory anyway, uh, so I think it's kept them all in memory, which is good. What, what was the other one? The other one was Pokemon Go, so let's just try that. Yeah, so they're both kind of uh, a little bit reloady with the like main apps, so not going to really choose between them there, but. You can see I think the S7's held its own very well given the age of the phone uh, and I was expecting a little bit better performance when it came to the Wi-Fi on the new iPhone 7. I will be doing some other speed tests obviously and obviously a camera test uh, I think tomorrow to see what the new camera can do. Uh, but so far you know if you've got an S7 I think it's still a very good phone here maybe not a massive reason to rush out and upgrade to the iPhone 7 however we're going to see how it compares against the iPhone 6s next so do stay tuned for that hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one cheers